Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Burma, where we are uh, frustrated once more with the fact this revolution just, like, will... Uh, is just stuck. I don't think this is... I don't think this makes sense. I mean, is there rev is this revolution... Like, like what is the momentum of this revolution? Like, are they going to revolt or are they not going to revolt? Like, to me, the, being in this equilibrium state makes no sense. Uh, having it... Having and the weird thing is, you might think, "Oh, well, Carrick's go hover over it to figure out." And of course, the tooltips are going to be all messed up here. Okay, we got over. Um, it's like you hover over this, and it just like it doesn't tell you anything. It says the base is plus ten. Well, what are the modifiers to make it zero? Right, like this this tooltip is like full on broken. Why is it at zero then? You see, what I'm saying it just. Oh. Oh. I think... Revolution... Maximum is of... Z max Revolution is above maximum progress of zero. And maximum... See, this is just dumb. Th this is dumb. I mean, you're either revolting or you're not revolting. How is your maximum 53? I don't get I don't I don't get this like like the, the just the the way that system was just fundamentally put together just makes no sense to me um, like if, if you're gonna threaten revolution and these people are fully radicalized and they're gonna do that and it's gonna progress let it just progress let it just do its thing and run its course and revolt you know what I mean um, getting stuck in this sort of will we won't we kind of thing is annoying so we got rid of slavery which is fantastic fantastic i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna raise this back up again to be honest or maybe we'll keep it a little bit reduced and i mean i wouldn't mind putting you guys back in government except for ironically it would well it would do something i i don't know like i don't know what do we want to pass next And then for some reason, even though the petite bourgeois and the Theravada monks won't even be radicalized, for some reason, if we try to pass this, they'll all revolt against us. It, it, it like doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Here we go. Universal suffrage. I think that could be that could be what we need. Plus 20 legitimacy. This gives us 25 legitimacy for having head of state and government. Or wait, where is it? 30 legitimacy for including head of state and government. Presumably we lose some legitimacy, but this just gives us 20 legitimacy because we have universal suffrage. More political strength from votes. I think we go for this. I think we go for this. I'm a little bit worried to think that the industrialists are going to oppose this for some reason somehow, but... No, we go for this, and if if the if if the um, if they want to revolt now, bring it on. In fact, I think just changing these tax laws is gonna is gonna cause a big swing, and um, so we'll keep the monarchy, but we're gonna let everybody vote for the monarchy, maybe or something. I'm not sure uh, how that actually works. But it's going to change the legitimacy dynamic significantly. So we'll just get, I think we'll just get, you know, more legitimacy to be able to do things with. I think that's going to be a big deal. In fact, actually, if we were to kick, the, these guys don't even support this. Yeah, that technically would give us a little bit more kicking them out. But it's not enough to, to, to care, I think. Yeah, see, look at this. The, uh, the industrialists are actually saying that they want the autocracy. Well, let me come on, guys. You guys will be fine. This is almost confusing. This is almost making us want to believe that we could add more construction because we're making a good amount of money. Look at this standard of living. Look at this standard of living. Look at this GDP. Um, that was because we reduced taxes, actually, I think, to some degree, and, and demand went up for everything, and the trade routes flexed. And we got those extra convoys online, right? Probably making even more. Look at this. We went from 8000 to 11000 just in tariff income. Although I don't like the fact that we're exporting out 300 tools now, apparently. I, I don't understand why 
we're sending out tools to the chin market when we need the tools ourselves. Like, this is insane. More tools. More iron. What I'm going to basically try to do is I think we're going to try to do a thing where at, at all at once... We're just going to scale up. All at once, we're just going to go kapow. And we're going to have that extra iron. We're going to have the... Um, yeah, let's, let's, get, let's, let's get the chemical plant going. Where do we build this, though? We don't have a lot of industry being built in the Shan states. Um, so maybe, maybe, they can have, maybe they can have that. There's still good infrastructure there. Pegu has a lot of infrastructure. That comes from the ports, right? Comes from all those ports. Are we still building more tea? Because I think we've realized that the tea is just the tea must flow. There's even more demand for porcelain than what we have. We got to get these glassworks going. Get this extra lead production going. We need all this stuff. I'd like to do more building. And the truth is, if we could switch to iron frame buildings, we would get so much construction. 30 plus 30 construction modifier or whatever. I don't know. It, it would at least double because I don't know if that's showing the total change in modifiers or what exactly. But this would be huge. This would be huge. The tool price would go through the through the roof and the iron price would go through the roof. The question is, does you know what if the you know what? I'm about to make a big move here because if the chin market has the iron to flow, because we're importing iron from them, right? See, they don't have the iron. They they can't they can't truly support us. Although Austria could. Look at that cheap iron in Austria. Spain's joined the French market. That's kind of interesting. Cheap iron in Austria. How are we doing on convoys? We have plenty of convoys. Let's import iron from Austria and just it, it, trust that this is going to be effective. You know what? I am tempted to just literally just do this, just straight up do this. But I hate the fact that we're exporting tools right now and we need these tools. Getting some taxation waste. Okay, there's got to be some trade routes here we don't care about, right? We double dipping any of these? 60 going out, 300 coming in. What's the actual details on this? Yeah, we need to be sending more out because it's the price is really going way down there. Um, well, this isn't... Sending out the fabric's not that productive. Sending it to Russia, that's not very productive. However, it will be when we drop the price of fabric by, by moving down to... Oh, no, it's only going to be... Never mind, it's not going to be that much. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Get that bureaucracy back online. I'm tempted to do this. I think we do it. I think we just do this and we just try to eat. Ooh, you can see a little bit of even lag just making that change. Like the cost right now, we're going to go definitely into the negatives here. But I think we're going to be able to react well enough to, to, to make this work. So the rural folk person who's beloved is going to be fighting the trade union person who's liked. I don't really think we need these people to be fighting each other, to be honest. Uh, we can just anger the... We can just make the intelligentsia more happy. Anger the... In fact, we're not even losing that much money. Okay, how's the convoy thing coming? Yeah, the, because the iron should be flowing. Yeah, the iron is flowing. Holy cow, we're not losing that much money. We need more paper, though. We need way more paper production. Although the way that we could get more paper production isn't just building more. We could actually move down to sulfur. So we be 90 more, but we'd need to be able to have the sulfur coming in. So who has sulfur? Who has sulfur? Well, it's saying Prussia in the British market would be more effective than others, but I'm going to check on them. So I want to see how much above they are. Yeah, so definitely the British market could definitely send us some. Yeah, whereas see, Prussia uh, wouldn't really be able to send us any. Like the first 10 might be... A, uh, look at this. The f look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This is, I mean, you got to be smarter than the game. And the UI in this game is just atrocious. 
This is saying it'd be more productive to send, again, I understand that technically we don't have sulfur demand in place yet. This is going to flex based on the sulfur demand that we're going to be generating for ourselves when we do the production mode. We know we're going to need sulfur. Okay, clearly it's saying that these ones will probably be the most productive because, because the prices are lower in their markets. It's saying the Prussia market's going to be more productive than the British, but the British market actually has hundreds of excess so that when we import a hundred of this stuff, it's not going to affect the price very much. Whereas with Prussia, if we imported to even 20 or 30 units of this, the price would skyrocket and the productivity would tank. It's like you got to be smarter than the game. You have to be smarter than the game. Okay, let's go into here and let's make this swap a Rooney. It's only going to need 30 sulfur. In fact, we're probably going to end up using some sulfur once the chemical plant even comes online and to make the explosives. What else can we do here? We're making porcelain. We're not making luxury furniture yet because... Yeah, just because it requires hardwood and I think that's going to like destabilize things. Although actually, wait a second, is now the time to do that? We're still using a lot of wood. This would reduce the, the use of wood, though. How much wood would we lose? 200 wood? To get that hardwood. Like a little bit more bureaucracy, I think. We're gonna do a little let's look let's look for another trade route that's not quite working for us here. Why are we sending out two hundred pieces of paper to, to the Why are they allowed to do this? Tariff on exports, please. I, I we need the paper here at home. 25, but yeah, I don't, honestly, this isn't really that great. Look, super productive trade route with England. It said it was going to be negative 10. Now it's plus 15. Got to be smarter than the game. 10 units. Yeah, this is, this is terrible. None of this makes any sense. We'll keep the one with England. I don't know. We could reevaluate that and see if there's just a better country that's producing more luxury furniture. What is the actual demand that we have for luxury furniture? Uh... I mean, between all of our luxury goods, there is, we're not making it, yeah, even with the porcelain, we're not making enough, but we are building a couple more glassworks that will make porcelain, but I think we might be in a situation to make this adjustment here, come up here, start producing fine furniture with the hardwood, And I don't think this will be catastrophic, especially if we can do an export, if we can export hardwood. To the British, uh, the French or the British market at just a huge. And again, oh, well, we could send, it'd be more sent with no convoys. Oh, let's look at this. Hardwood, yeah, you, literally France needs a thousand pieces of hardwood in a sense, like if they tried to balance out there. Whereas England needs way less. See, again, I, you, you got to be smarter than the game. It would almost make it seem like the French market and the British market are about the same. No, no. We need more convoys. So I'm almost tempted to do this just because it doesn't use convoys. Yeah. But knowing them, they're going to leech all of our hardwood, aren't they? Because they just take all of our... They take a little bit of surplus that we make and they just... Eh, whatever. It's still productive. It's still productive. It's better than just sitting around here doing nothing. I'm okay with that. I think if we give this a second to kind of everything to adjust here. Yeah, that's now come up. Um, we're trying to build more of the tea. The glassworks should be making it so we're getting more porcelain. 
and more glass because we need more glass we should be building a lot more tool we're, we're exporting so much so much so many tools it's insane could use a little bit more wood and we know that that wood would just help us produce more furniture or you know uh, improve our exporting honestly that's not we're not even exporting all that we need we might change that you know what we if especially if the convoys hold stable here see uh, we really don't have that much convoy buffer here your unpredictable trade routes okay yeah we're making our own furniture uh, luxury furniture so we don't need to do that that's some convoys that we're saving. Yeah, let's export some to the British market. They're gonna never, they're never not gonna need hardwood. I'm not too excited about any of this stuff. I do eventually want dynamite, but we're still a ways off there. We have dialectics, so I want to go in and actually adjust the worker mode for. Um, for the universities that we already have made. So let's do that. Let's go into the universities here and go to philosophy department. More qualifications, more innovation, a little bit of paper, more clerks rather than laborers. I'm actually tempted just to crank this sucker up to here. It's going to be rather expensive to do this, but... This would give us a lot more bureaucracy. Yeah, let's do that. Just see what the paper situation is here. We need a lot more paper. And that paper is going to need a lot more wood. So we actually just need to... We need, we need to make wood. Actually, well, yeah, we don't have the convoys. It's going to say we could just... We could just... Infrastructure in this region is actually tightening here. But we're getting modern sewage. That'll help. That'll help. Can't have enough tea. We can't have enough tea. We have plenty of infrastructure in Pegu as well. Um, and just in terms of uh, uh, peasants that are ready for work, we got tons of them in all the states. We have that extra authority from nationalism that just kicked in. What are we doing with our authority right now? Lots of consumption taxes. Suppressing the landowners and bolstering the intelligentsia. The intelligentsia is already fairly bolstered. And we just had to scooch more authority. Just a scooch. And uh, legitimacy is actually going down. Um, landowners, would you join government? No, you wouldn't because you're just upset. Landowners are at 6.5%. That is insane. That is insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, instead of bolstering the intelligentsia, we're going to suppress... the bourgeois although the real way that we we take out the legs of the of the petite bourgeois is we move off of traditionalism traditionalism is the thing that gives them a huge amount of power because essentially their class is operating all of the trade routes basically and if you move out of of, of um traditional or, sorry not traditionalism sorry sorry mercantilism if you move to protectorism then the trade routes themselves can be either either they could be privately owned or they could be whatever they could just be something other than the merchant guilds the merchant guilds these shopkeepers the thousands and thousands and thousands here check out how many shopkeepers are working out of out of here look at this trade center look at this size 71 trade center 71,000 shopkeepers 71,000 shopkeepers that is insane all of those people are just signing up and carrying around their petite bourgeois card, basically. We're building, actually, I just realized, like, we're building at 35. Like, that's really cool. So we're building very quickly. And that should really help everything. That should help us sort of scale up the economy. Uh, we could make money just by adjusting that. Honestly, there, look at, look at, look at, getting rid of traditionalism is required in order to adjust the taxation here. 25 if we went up to proportion proportional taxation which we can't do with traditionalism we move out of that twenty five thousand more revenue from current tax than the current tax law twenty five thousand. think about how many universities that would be think about how many construction offices that would be 
Like, it's, it's mind-blowing to think about that. Burma's actually kind of even hurting on infrastructure. I guess we should build more in, um, more universities in Peku. Yeah, when this gets online, we're going to have to really kind of see what do we want to do with this, with this fertilizer plant? I don't really care about the fertilizer. The 90 fertilizer we're getting there, that's awful. That doesn't do much for us because most of our fertilizer is coming from ranching. It's going to need more sulfur, and then we're going to need even more sulfur doing this and coal. Do we have the coal online? Oh, we do. We do actually have the coal online. So this will create some demand for coal. This will create an immense amount of demand for coal. Give us a ton of iron that we do need. 90 coal. This is tools for more coal. So on total, what does this give us? 60 coal? And then if we use this explosive, right? This uses five explosives to get 15 coal. That 15 coal is going to come over here and pay this 15 coal to give us 40 explosives, right? So we now have 40 explosives. We've used five here. We're going to use 30 here. And I'm going to come up to here to use the rest of the 60 coal that's being produced at the coal mine. And I think all these numbers should just go like, just, just whoop, become very, look at this, look at this chemical plant over here. Now, the truth is our fertilizer is still probably in excess and it'd be really, really nice to find a place that wants our fertilizer. Best case scenario would just be sending it next door. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, the truth is, hold on a second, hold on a second. Yeah, they're, this is perfect. They're running a big... Look at this, we're making money over here. How does it figure that? How does it figure that? It's always the clergy that has those scandals. We got it, universal suffrage. Let's go, let's go. Now we haven't gotten rid of the monarchy, but I'm kind of thinking, does this mean we're gonna have some elections or something up in here? I mean, what what's going on here? We have 38 legitimacy. And if we actually just got rid of the rural folk, we'd have 41. That's good enough to get things done. That's good enough to get things done. Industrialists would need to be added to government in order to work on something like interventionism. And they actually would support this too. And we've talked about how we wouldn't mind doing this. What are we doing right now? This would be huge. This would be just huge. Whoa, wait a second, wait a second. The landowners aren't, aren't opposed to this anymore? This could marginalize the monks. And if they wanted to rat if they wanted to uh, revolt against us, that wouldn't be bad. Our economy is doing well right now. It is true that technically getting oh man, getting to interventionism would be so big. This even makes the landowners upset. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. 19%. Let's go for this. Legitimacy is 42%. The air is... I, I don't know. Are we going to have elections now? And what's going on? Oh, we are getting some parties are forming up. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. That would actually increase legitimacy to add these folks to government. The landowners are literally at 4.2%. They're almost marginalized. They're almost marginalized. How in the world did the trade unions get up to 13%? Well, that's because they actually get to vote now. They get a say in the political process. Intelligentsia 22. Oh, this is... Let's go. What we need, though... 
Oh, that that lowers legitimacy. What we need is we need some of these. We need we need the industrialists, the intelligentsia, like like we need some of these groups here to like fuse. See how these three groups fused up? We need we need other groups to fuse up, and that might that should happen over time. That should happen over time. Got those universities cooking right now. I'm almost thinking. Let's get more universities. Oh, oh, wait a second. We got a authority issue here and a yeah, we've lost some bureaucracy and some uh, some authority. Love the idea of pushing these guys down to 4%. That marginalizes them. If they go to 4%, they're marginalized. They have to then get up to 5% to be unmarginalized, basically is how it works. But just reducing to 4.5 doesn't doesn't do it. The truth is they would be marginalized if we got rid of the monarchy. That would just do it. So let's not worry about it too much any right here. These guys would be marginalized if we just got rid of separation of church and state. But the petite bourgeois, again, they'll be marginalized... If we can trade, if we can get out of um, mercantilism, that would do it for them. And our trade route situation is just not great here. So we need a little bit more bureaucracy that can come from canceling an ineffective trade route. He's using up a lot of our, you know, yeah, let's do that. Because we're now producing more iron, right? So it's saying it's less productive to bring it in. We're just making more of our own iron. Where is our iron here? Yeah, we're doing fine. Honestly, iron, it's not great, but it's fine. Could be better, but it's okay. Things are looking pretty well balanced down here, to be honest. I don't mind grain being cheap. It's only 15% depreciated there. We have a little bit of an issue with the imported liquor, but the liquor is so cheap. The stuff we're importing is just so cheap. It's like, why not? Getting a little bit more sugar could be good, but that mostly is going to come from... Yeah, we need more coal. Coal is being used for... Uh, what is there? We're trade... We're exporting coal. Can we, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. We didn't agree to this. 10% more on exports. Yes, yeah, stop. And look, it's even unproductive. Cancel this. We're making money over here, though. Somehow. Building all these universities. So if we just go to the core things, we need a lot more clothing production. Like, a lot more. This is all in Pegu. Plenty of people there need jobs. Ironically, because of the trade route situation, we actually could use more, more paper mills. Use more glass works. I can't have enough tool works. How many of this, these are getting built in Pegu? The text, or sorry, Burma paper and the tools. Because we have an infrastructure issue in Burma. So railways are going to be important, but I think modern sewage, it'll be interesting to see what this does to the infrastructure. Right now in Burma, the infrastructure is 47. Let's see how that changes with modern plumbing. I mean, the these guys are already really happy with the fact we're passing interventionism. We don't really need to make them make other people angry at their, you know, we can just let them be a little bit upset by that decision there. Um, infrastructure, yeah, that's right. So this, yeah, let's see what happens there with that infrastructure adjustment. Let's wait a week for it to update here. 51, so it went for, what was that, 47 to 51? So it went up a little bit. I mean, it's not much, but it, I mean, it helps. We now have a little bit of a buffer there. Doesn't hurt. And that's going to be a little bit of a bump all of our states, right? All of our states are getting a bump. We could actually, what we could do is we could go through um, the buildings here 
and we could get a lot more lead by moving this dial up a significant and then that could make us get a lot more glass by moving up to this 100 lead and we'd save wood and we'd produce way more glass in fact how much glass could we use in total all of them are set to market squares already this would take 140 coal so we need quite a bit more coal to move up to gas street lights that'd give us 400 services i assume our services are extremely expensive right now yeah that'd be huge this is beautiful this is beautiful so that gives us more for interventionism the trade unions are not marginalized yep we knew that that's great though to see this doesn't really matter much 10 we're getting some prestige there we'll get some prestige here so there's no risk of us losing our... We're up to... Look at this GDP spike right there. We haven't even got interventionism going. That's going to be huge, too. Yeah, the railways. We talked about that, right? More universities. They're all set to a philosophy department, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can get just a ton of additional bureaucracy here, too. The funny thing is, yeah, we're like we're losing five thousand, but again, when this interventionism passes, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Oh, what? Oh, whoops! I didn't I didn't pause when that event was on, so it just kind of closed itself. I think university output, we we're going to get university output or something else. Uh, something else that was probably good. We have more authority here, so we could go back to suppressing somebody. Or we could bolster somebody. We could bol Actually, you know what? Bolstering the trade unions might be a good thing at this point. Because we're going to need them to pass some stuff. And potentially adding them to government. No, it reduces legitimacy. What the heck? See, we need the trade unions to just join either either the radical party or I mean the liberal party. Sometimes the industrialists actually join the liberal party. I don't know. These are just names. These are these are they're not totally random, but they're kind of random. But I think honestly things are humming pretty well. And and again, this interventionism, what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow the capitalists and the aristocrats to actually pay into the pot and help contribute to the what, what's called the investment pool and it'll help us actually build in fact the investment pool i mean it's it's going up you can see um it's just there it's just we don't use it for anything right now right it's not being used on anything because our laws don't allow us to use it but it is there so once we have interventionism, we can tap into that to build buildings. And building building these industrial manufacturers will be basically... It'll basically remove that 25000 construction cost while, while there is investment pool to contribute. That's going to be huge. Let's see if we pass it on this on this 33 odds here. If we had them at 20%, we'd be getting double the benefit here. Actually, it's still saying that we're getting double. I wonder... Hmm. I thought they had to be at 20% cloud to get double, but it is saying that we're getting the 20% technology production, cost reduction. What? Seriously? Okay, now we have a 50% chance to pass it. It will pass. It will pass in the next cycle, but that'll take like a year. Guys, thanks everybody for being here. I think we're finally cooking here because again, that, that investment pool, that investment pool is going to cut this out. This, this cost here is going to get cut out by that. Um, it'll cut out this negative 6,000 at least for sure. That's not, even with, that's not even considering how much we're potentially going to make if we modernize. That will allow us to actually modernize our taxation policy. And literally this is saying it will give us 32,000 more balance to play around with which is insane. And this doesn't even factor how much we could get moving out of mercantilism because that's hurting us in a few ways. There's so much stuff. There's so much potential in Burma and things are going really well now. The landowners are, are basically not uh, something to consider except the fact they still technically, because of the monarchy, they're still, there's a lingering essence 
of, of the landowner sort of power lingering about and getting rid of the monarchy will be the final final nail in the coffin for that so but guys thanks everybody for being here for this episode i read every single comment and respond to every single question so if you have comment questions or comments or feedback or anything you know uh it'll it'll be uh it'll be considered and uh if if you guys are looking for the next episode the playlist link in the description below will help find get you to the next episode because youtube can be kind of weird about recommending things in the right order you guys know the drill um, but thanks everybody for being here really appreciate it i will see you guys in the next one